Hi, I'm Maria Batista, and I'm a sculptor primarily and a goldsmith. And uh, so I work in clay from which I produce bronzes and I also carve stone, which we'll show you in a few minutes in this video. Um, I like to make figures and portraits in the classical tradition. So um, this, for example, is a portrait of my partner, Steve. Those of you who know Steve will know that it's a pretty good likeness of him that I'm not quite finished with. Um, and this is a figure I'm working on that has to do with joy. Um, sometimes my work is really very much a kind of spiritual practice in, you know, as we all do this Jungian journey of individuation, there are things we want to explore about ourselves and about the world and our relation to it. And so this piece here um, is a really good example of that. Um, it's a piece I've had sitting around for a couple of years and sometimes it's that way, you know, sometimes it takes a long time to, to land on what something is supposed to be. And I've been calling it backbone for a couple of years now. And I recently, just last week, had a, a, an experience doing some body work where I understood that my own backbone in all the symbolic senses of that is really developing in life. And so um, I'm sculpting, literally sculpting this backbone of a deer that I found hiking one day as the base upon which this figure is going to be sitting. And I think she's also going to be holding some antlers that are, you know, kind of symbolically growing out of her spine as well. Um, so I love doing sculptural work and fine art work because it's, it's really such a great way of um, just feeling a part of the world and knowing oneself and connecting deeply with other people. Um, and to me, that is the purpose of the work. So I also carve stone and uh, this particular piece obviously is a polar bear mother with a cub. And it is a piece that was just roughed out by another sculptor a couple of years back. And um, he is now deceased and his wife gave me the stone to finish for him. So I carved the facial features and the added the baby, which is what he had intended with this piece. And we're gonna put this, I think, in a playground or possibly at the zoo. So I'm at the stage with this piece where I'm just doing the rasping and polishing, but all the heavy carving is finished. Um, a, a little bit less finished piece is this one over here, which is a piece of green marble from Italy. Very, very hard stone, the hardest stone I've ever carved. It's actually breaking my chisels, but I'm finding ways of doing it. And um, she is, oh, I don't know, maybe, you know, three quarters of the way there before I get to the polishing phase on her. Um, and I love carving stone. It's just such a soft, I mean, it sounds odd to say that, but it is a really beautiful, soft material, usually. <laughs> this is Colorado marble which is a very nice stone to work with. And if you ever have the chance to go to Marble, Colorado, I highly recommend it. That's where the quarry is and where people spend their lives carving this stuff. So I still do make jewelry and do silver and gold smithing as well. Um, and uh, here's an example of a piece that I have yet to make, but typically what happens is I'll have some stones that I like um, the look of together and then maybe I'll do a hand drawing like this that is based upon the shapes and sizes of the stones and then I'll take the stones and, and find the most pleasing aesthetic way to set them so this is going to be a large piece very interesting though with a piece of big piece of malachite um, a nice triangular wedge of black onyx and a beautiful sliver of sujolite which is a stone that's a little hard to come by these days. Um, it's been kind of mined out. And I just still love minerals and love working with the, the precious metals because um, it, it feeds the graphic artist in me that likes to design. And it also just is a really nice gift to other people who like to decorate themselves and their being with these symbols. And um, so, I do all three of these things these days and uh, just keep really busy and um, I have a great life that I enjoy doing, doing a number of creative things.